guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas and I got my nails done recently so expect a lot of this. But today we're gonna talk about Old Navy. I feel like Old Navy is like an oldie but a goodie. I know some people absolutely live and die by their denim. Just, just love it. I used to be a uh, huge fan of the Rockstar jeans, the skinny Rockstar. There might have been another word in there. But then I feel like they changed the formula. <laughs> I feel like they switched it up and they just kind of quit fitting me as well as they did at one point in my life in my in my later teens. Um, so I don't shop with Old Navy a ton, but I do love a lot of their stuff. I just hate going in. Hello? 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 Hi, my name's Mike and I'm calling from Cheap Insurance Rates. Oh, they be getting my ass with that one. They be getting my ass with that one. Hi, my name is Mike. You ain't even on the phone, Mike. Where you at, Mike? I want to know what there is to know about cheap insurance rates. Still really like Old Navy. Oh, this is gonna be one of those optical illusion ones. But um, I just think that uh, I don't check for them all the time because when I go in store, the, the sales suck half the time. But online, the sales are always great. So I got all of my stuff online. I got pretty much everything like an XXL. I'll call out any other sizes if I got them. And I know a lot of people have qualms with the fact that Old Navy took plus size out of their store. Their plus sizes sucked compared to their regular clothes. So I don't know if that's changed. I try to stay on just the upper end of the straight size because I think that they just have better styles for the most part. Uh, and the, anyway, I'll give you the original prices though. This was 40 bucks normally and I ended up um, using a coupon online because like I said, there's always sales online. Uh, I thought I was gonna love it. I love a jumpsuit. This is clearly a very long jumpsuit. So if you are taller, you need a little bit of height, this is probably gonna work out for you. Um, otherwise, it's you pretty much, you know, you get what you see here. And then this is all like smock, so it's all completely stretchy. I wish that these were adjustable. Oh, <laughs> wish granted they are because they're like way too long for me. This isn't one that I would actually keep and wear. I have too many that are perfect for me um but i do highly recommend this like style of jumpsuit in the summertime so easy so fun i get a lot of mine from target i like the ones that um torrid has some here and there and uh what's the other store torrid target american eagle uh, they don't they're not plus size so they don't you know cater to as many sizes there but it's gonna be a no from me. A jumpsuit so nice, I bought it twice apparently. This is another version of it. This one, the material is a little bit different. It's not quite as slinky. And I find that it actually has a better fit. Um, funny enough, I have one that is almost identical to this. It doesn't necessarily do me any favors, right? I'm not out here like giving body in this particular jumpsuit, but it's a nice comfortable thing to wear in you know, the hotter months and warmer months. Uh, but I have one very, very, very similar to it and it is my favorite thing to wear when I have to be in the car for a long time. Like a road trip or something like that. Um, I don't look great in it and after I've sat in it for 16 hours, I look good. not. Not any better, let me put it that way. But it is so <laughs> comfortable. I will say this one is better because the straps are not nearly as thick as my other one. So this has regular straps. Again, adjustable just like the other one. And they both have pockets. Um, same length, like I said. I, For me personally, I would prefer them to be ever so slightly shorter if they're gonna be, you know, this wide or be all the way to the ground. I don't like this. Just, just, just above the ankle thing, just preparing for the flood over here. But it's super comfortable. And for an XXL, I mean, there's, Plenty of space left in here. Now I actually have a question for you guys, right? I used to work at Old Navy back in the day. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, I did work at Old Navy and back then is when I was like heavy into the denim. Like I knew what was what. Okay, I don't know what's what anymore because like I said, whenever they change those rock stars, they stopped working for me. I have since over the years, maybe like once a year, every two years, I'll go scoop up a few pairs, do my best, and see if I can make it work. A lot of times I can't, I send it back, I get a gift card, I buy my kids graphic tees and stuff. Like that's just how it goes for us. Um, so these shorts, right? I just, I think I don't like their sizing or maybe what it is is that their denim, at least the ones I keep trying, they don't really cater to like a, a pear shape or like an hourglass shape um, because they're always so damn tight, like on the legs. So this is a size 18. You'll see if you recognize what I normally look like, right? It makes me a lot more boxy than I actually am. Um, they're, it's not that they're so uncomfortable because they're not, but it's like it alters my shape in a way that I don't like. Um, so these are, like I said, an 18. They're 99% cotton, 1% spandex. So they have minimal stretch, but they do have some. And then you have this, which they're a little short. Um, 
but the gap is not too bad because they're so short my, you know they're still in like the bigger part of my uh, butt or lower back or whatever you want to call it uh, so not my favorite they're not my favorite and these do not have a price tag on it now i also got this wrap shirt i will choose a faux wrap over an actual wrap any day of the week but i acknowledge that the actual wrap like a true wrap top or wrap dress it fits bodies better than a faux wrap that's already sewn shut. So this allows you to accommodate a bigger bust, a bigger uh, belly, a big, whatever it might be, right? A wider back, whatever it is. There's just such a pain in the ass to put on. But once you have it on, I mean, it's pretty cute. This has been sitting in a box for like two weeks, so a little wrinkled, uh, but really cute, really nice size. I mean, they're definitely very generous, not generous. I think they're true to size. Old Navy is someone that with their like linen tops and stuff like this that aren't stretching their dresses that aren't stretching i find them to be very true to size with their denim i don't know because when i go up a size and let's say i go to a 20 it never fit the way that the denim is cut that doesn't work for my body um and that's okay right that's why i don't normally shop denim there but i know like i said i know some people freaking they live and die by old navy denim I don't get it. And a lot of people are going to be like, they look good, da, da, da. I know, but they don't feel good. And that's more important as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> so this is very much like a trapeze style dress. Um, those are typically not my favorite, like just because of the visual of them. Uh, but the back is a little bit longer than the front. I don't think overall it's a bad dress. I just think that it's not, it's just not one that I gravitate towards for the most part. I prefer it to be fitted on top and then go out. You know what I mean? But that being said, I have successfully found ways to wear trapeze dresses where I don't feel like I'm just drowning in uh, fabric, and that is with cardigans. So <laughs> with an oversized cardigan, I can kind of pull it in. I can do that little, you know, that little move, and they feel really nice. So this one is pretty cute. I like it. It's actually like um like a beigey color with black, and I got it in an XXL. Again, there's no price tag on this one. It has a really good length and in fact I would go so far as to say that I probably could have done the XL so that I could have more of that fitted top because for sure the rest of it was going to fit. This is a very accommodating dress. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely what I would consider sort of oversized or just simply trapeze style because that's kind of the style is that it just flows out and gives you lots of room to breathe and grow and <laughs> do whatever you want to do. Now I remember one of the reasons I hated shopping plus size stuff at um, Old Navy and it's because the maternity stuff I don't know if it was our story but it was so jammed in with the plus size stuff that it was not uncommon to end up with something that ultimately was maternity right like something in this sort of style let's say this is a plus size top obviously it can give maternity vibes because it's giving you baby doll it's giving you space for belly uh, and I just remember like being tricked by it and then feeling dumb because back then like that was gonna mess with me buying freaking maternity clothes and I wasn't, I wasn't maternal, okay? I mean, no, I didn't even have a baby yet, right? I was just fat, okay? I had belly, but there was nothing in it besides organs and all that other junk. I didn't like it. And so uh, this top reminds me of that. It's, like I said, plus size. It is an XXL. It's definitely spacious. There's a lot of space around the waist. It doesn't actually stretch. It's a linen material. It's cute. I like the color because it's like this off-white sort of color. Um, I think for me, it goes well like with my skin tone. And the shorts, so these are a size 18. These ones are 79% cotton, 20% polyester, 1% elastics. Having the polyester in there along with the elastic, we're getting a different fit from the previous ones. And here you can see I'm not quite as boxy. It's not shoving me up quite as much. They are nice and high. They're nice and low as well. <laughs> they have a solid inseam. Um, and then these ones are, like I said, an 18. Functional pockets, a good solid size 18. I haven't seen from behind. Yeah. And they're a little bit higher as well while still not giving me butt gap, which I really like. So these are overall, I would say like a win. They're good. They're a good solid pair of shorts. So. I'll put a little star next to these ones down below in the description box if I can still find them. <laughs> One thing Old Navy is getting right time and time and time again are their oversized graphic tees. I get them for the kids. I get them for myself. My boyfriend will get some from there. Does he get them there? I don't know. I get them there and he fits them. So I love them. I love the fit. Like I'm in a connoisseur of oversized graphic tees and these ones have the fit, okay? They don't have a super drop shoulder, which I like that in some of mine, but 
that creates almost a sloppy look, which I'm fine with. I dig it, okay? These ones don't have that. They're not super dropped. They're just a little bit wider than like my shoulders are. It's like a, almost as thin as like a burnout shirt, if you ever worn a burnout shirt, but it's not a burnout shirt. Super loose and big and ugh, I love it. I, I, I love Seinfeld too, so I mean, this just made sense for me. I was basically raised on primetime television. I'm sure many of you were as well. I was a little latchkey kid, me and my five siblings, right? A lot of Seinfeld, a lot of Simpsons. Come on, we all had to come together, watch a little Family Matters, watch a little step by step, day by day by day. Pretty sure half of my personality came from television in the 90s, but anyway. Melrose Place, why was I watching Melrose Place when I was a little ass kid, I don't know. Michael, great shirts though, overall great shirts. And you'll find different prints and different colors and stuff from other retailers. And they make uh, stuff for like couples, like so you can twin or whatever. I freaking love it. But I'm really here to talk about these bike shorts. So like I said, lately, recently, whatever, I have been on a hunt for the best bike shorts. These ones I like the fit of, okay? I will say they're a little low in the crotch. Like I keep trying to shove them up, but the top of my thigh is touching. That's a no, no for me. Also, if you can tell the hem down here, it's a little tight on my thigh, um, but it's a stretchy material because these are not your typical kind of like loungy bike shorts. These are more so your um, athletic bike shorts. And I have a black thong on and, and you can see it when I bend over, but I feel like when I'm standing up regular, you really can't. So. I mean, these are up there, these are good. I don't like that my upper thigh is hanging out that I won't wear them because of that, <laughs> if I can't figure that out. Um, but otherwise, they do have that, like my hands are kind of dry and like as I rub my hands across it, it's like catching on all of it, that I don't like. But I have another pair, so give me one second. Okay, beyond being obviously a different color, oh, I was sure that you were gonna see like a lot of lower belly because they're gray, but this is doing a good, you know, suck and tuck job here. Um, beyond being a different color, they're also a different material. My hands, you know, my little crusty fingers, they're not getting caught on any of this uh, material. Now let's see if these ones are see-through. Oh, they are. But, but almost, like, it's almost hard to see it though because they're heathered. So that's smart. And again, just tight on my thigh. It's hard to find one that's not tight on my thigh. I have found some, but um, these are comfortable. And I'm actually gonna like ride my bike, so. <laughs> I need actual active bike shorts that don't cost a million dollars, so these are definitely a good option. I get so many compliments when I wear jumpsuits. If you do not ever wear jumpsuits or rompers, I urge you to just like give one a shot this year. I think it's because you're wearing so much of one print or one pattern or whatever it is, and it just makes you look a little more sleek and like you really put effort in. I think people appreciate when you put effort into your outfit. You can't always tell when someone's put a lot of effort in, but. With the jumpsuit, I don't know what it is. I always get complimented on mine. This one is big, it's it's too big. It might be hard to see, but when you have this material, always just be aware that it's gonna stretch out as you're wearing it, and you're gonna end up with like diaper booty, you're gonna end up um, sagging sometimes like in the knees if you're sitting down a lot. Uh, so this is bigger than I would want. I would rather go down to the XL because the back is smocked, so it's easy enough to, you know, slip in something ever so slightly smaller. And then again, same problem as with the last ones. The, the length is not hitting me where it needs to hit me. It either needs to be up here or it needs to be, I can't even do it, like down, down there. So we're at the exact wrong spot. But again, it does have pockets. It's really cute. And like I said, I mean, adjustable straps, obviously these need to be adjusted and plenty of space for more boob because like I said, the back is totally stretchy. So give it a shot, give it a shot, give it a shot. If you've not tried a jumpsuit, oh, and if you're like, oh, I don't want my arms up. I get a girl, been there, done that, got it, okay. Cardigan, oversized cardigan. You can do a little teeny tiny little cardigan, just sleeves, but that looks like you're trying to hide something sometimes, right? Oversized cardigan. You might think oversized, I'm gonna cover everything up. Sleek, it looks good, okay? Pair it with a nice flat sandal, a wedge, an espadrille, what have you, a pair of sneakers, whatever, something like really crisp looking. I promise you it's gonna look good. And then, you know, get the rest of yourself together. Stunner shades if you must. Little crossbody bag. I'm basically just describing one of my outfits, so let me not act like this is gonna help anybody else. But maybe? I don't know. 
usually do camo, but I guess I was just in the mood for it. Um, this is just, again, a little basic top. This one is not quite as oversized. The sleeves are not as big and long. Um, I think it's meant to be a little bit more fitted. It's just kind of basic, casual top. Yes, child? Can I make a jeep? Yes, you can. What? Yes. Yay. Yay. Kids are homesick from school. I already went to the doctors this morning. Have another COVID test scheduled later. I had to take one yesterday. Oh girl, motherhood, huh? Okay, so um, the bottoms again, here's what I'm gonna take away from this video you should take away too. If you need extra stretch, if you need that extra give in the hip and thigh and butt area, from what I can tell, do not get the shorts that don't have polyester in them because these ones are again a 99% cotton, 1% spandex blend. And while they do have a nice solid five inch inseam, and I think that's, that's nice, right? Um, not doing the greatest things for my behind and they're obviously a little low because I didn't even button them. Can I? Yes, I can. I can pull them up and button them. Um, but for, <laughs> for what? <laughs> they don't fit right, okay? And these are an 18 again. So clearly I personally cannot pull off anything that doesn't have either more elastic or a different blend of material. And just to go over this one more time because some people don't understand, when you size up, it doesn't automatically mean that the garment is going to fit you in the next size up. Oftentimes, it's not necessarily everything that needs to get bigger. It's the cut, it's the style, it's the way that the garment was made, it's the, the proportions of it that are wrong for your body. So don't think that if you're in a size 10 and you're like, oh, this one doesn't fit, let me get a size 12. Oh my gosh, the 12 doesn't fit, let me get, girl, it might just be the clothes, right? It's just the clothes. It's just sometimes uh, retailers make things a certain way. They have kind of the way that they like to cut their clothes. The more and more and more you shop, the more you get used to different retailers and their styles. And like I know that if I order from this one brand, I have to size up the top because their arms never, ever, ever fit me because that's just not how they cut the arms. That's not how they cut the sleeve, right? But then I have other brands that I just know I have to size down because their stuff always runs much bigger in the chest and in the arms or around the butt or whatever it may be. So if I were to size up in these, they're not gonna fit. <laughs> they're not gonna do what they're supposed to do around my waist and then they're gonna create too much because I already have some. They're gonna create too much extra material underneath my butt and it's not gonna be cute. And just to emphasize my point, we have yet another pair of 99% cotton 1% uh, elastic shorts that are just not quite going to fit me the way that they should fit me. Um, oh look, the front looks pretty good, right? Okay, let's see how the back looks. They're not gonna fit, right? Okay, <laughs> so we can get off that now, but these again were a size 18. If I were to cover that all up, they would look fine, right? That's kinda cute. Who's on here? Who's on here? Who do we recognize? Oh, it's Clueless. See, I freaking love it. Like the, the weight of these shirts, girl, oh, I love them so, you see it, right? You see how lightweight these shirts are. You see they have like a little bit of a pull to them, which is great. The color, the color scheme, okay? These are different colors. This is not what Target is giving us. Target gives us something else, and that's fine. Target, be who you are, Target. I live and die by that Blockbuster shirt, right? But Old Navy gives us something else. Just give them a shot. If you're looking for, you know, uh, what, is, what is this called? Pop culture, like graffiti, tees, stuff like that? Girl, give them a shot. I thought I got a regular pair of jeans and I was like, why'd you do that when you know they never work for you? And I don't like come on here trying to crap on a brand, right? Like just generally speaking, um, cause I do like Old Navy. God, cause this, could this be any harder to open? Uh, but then I saw these and I was like, yes girl, you clearly ordered. Oh, it's not even a zipper girl. It's like 10,000 more buttons. I ordered, these have to be 100% cotton. They feel like nothing other. Oh, they do have 1% elastic. So I got these in a size 18 and I cannot wait to try them on because they are wide leg and hopefully they fit how they're supposed to fit. The ones from Fashion to Figure, the wide leg like cotton pants that I got from them, I mean, they are unrivaled right now, okay? They are the best. Well, I got a white pedicure. They look cute as hell with light wash denim. <laughs> and that's it, that's it right there. She's not getting any higher. All right, she is not getting any higher. Oh, I forgot it's a bunch of button. Can I just button the top one? Let me just, these nails are long and they're fresh. Okay, obviously I can get the other ones together if I can put the top one together just fine. Okay, okay, okay. The back feels a little airy. <laughs> okay, the butt, hey, the butt, that's my butt, right? That's what my butt looks like. So I'm not mad at that. 
Um, they're wide, but not like real wide. But then the hem is raw. Uh, but rockers. I don't like a raw hem on these. Okay, if that had been a real hem, I would have given these like a solid 6.8 out of 10, right? The, the These are comfortable though. So if you like a wide leg, like loose fit kind of jean, these are comfortable. I would still recommend the fashion figure ones over these for sure. But these are not, these are, these are not bad. Not mad at them. This is like exactly what I think of when I think of Old Navy or dresses like this. So we have your striped dress, of course. This has to go up for me. I would never be comfortable having it that far down. Um, you give it the little hangover look and now I don't like that either. Uh, crud, crud. Okay, okay. Not entirely my style, but as far as the fit and stuff goes, very stretchy, obviously. But the material itself also has give, so that's nice to hear. You're pretty run-of-the-mill, you know, kind of dress. Oh, unfortunately, you do see my drawers under there. Just wear like a... <gasps> There's no pockets? There's no pockets? What a missed opportunity for pockets. No. No, there's none. There's no lining. That's just me. Oh, well, that was just dumb. Tell me this dress would not have benefited from some pockets. Now, if you follow me on TikTok, you would have seen all these bathing suits I'm about to show you probably like two or three weeks ago, probably like two weeks ago, because I filmed a video for there and posted it before this. So if you're not following me there and you have a TikTok, I mean, feel free. I will post up whatever, I'll put it in my description box, but I forgot to take my bra off and I'm like not even mad at it. <laughs> so the uh, bottoms and the top are in a size XXL. It's such a cute, top like it, it it's great it gives you a lot of support and then it kind of covers up you know a little bit extra over here it covers up the little the little nubs you get under your you know armpit which it is what it is but it's this is really really cute and if you have a large chest it does have a fair bit of material to kind of help cover and conceal the whole back is you know just one big piece and then you have these high waisted swim bottoms nothing to it but to do it on here there's no extra ruching nothing like that they're really solid fit, nice and high. I mean, 10 stars. <laughs> so for this one, I really like it in theory. This is like a little rash guard top. I think that's what they're called, right? Um, just a little swim top. You're not gonna wanna wear this without anything underneath unless you're in a more private setting because you can definitely see nip and everything else. But you could put like a little bikini top underneath this and that's typically, I think, how people wear them. That's how I would wear them. Um, and this is just tied up into a little knot. It did like show up like that, but you could loosen it and then it becomes just a bigger sort of, it, it's kind of loose on the belly, so I don't have the look of it, but I got these bottoms because they were supposed to match, basically, and they do, but they pretty much match on the back. Um, not really on the front, though, and I don't see the back, so it's not like it's fun for me. Obviously, the color down here matches, and that color is in the front, but it's like in my crotch, right? <laughs> so I hope you don't look at that too closely. The part of this that is annoying is the lining. The white part, it flips out. You see, you see it flipped out there. It flips out on the, um, on the leg over the hip. It's not a deal breaker, but it's just annoying that it does that, like that it was done like that, I guess, because I mean, I was gonna say you could flip it, but you really can't flip it because there's seams on the inside. So it's not meant to be reversible by any means, but I mean, the fit at least is good. And these are both in a size XXL again. Uh, I just, I personally find that to be kind of obnoxious. But otherwise I like it. I like having little tops like this too, um, especially when you have maybe a little bit too much sun exposure or you're trying to limit your sun exposure. It definitely helps to have more of your skin covered, of course. So when I see bikini bottoms that are high hip, like cut that way from the front, I know it's not necessarily gonna be my cup of tea, but I just wanted to try out some different stuff to give you guys a feel. I could always kind of scoop my belly up a little bit and tuck her in, but I don't want to have to do that while I'm wearing a swimsuit. It comes up a little bit higher in the front. That being said, the back is super high and really full coverage. I mean, you pretty much got full cheek coverage here. I really like these tops too, the ones that are like a long line and then just kind of have a little triangle above. Um, I find that they probably work pretty well if you have a bigger chest. like. It would probably look nice if this was really filled out. These do have little pads in them which are removable. It's all bent up and misshapen in here right now. Um, and then the straps are adjustable. I like these when I do really wanna get some sun. I know that like it's nice and secured around my waist and then I have like all of this exposure up top to kind of 
tan, I guess. Look at this big old patch. <laughs> That's from a self tanner. It's with me now for life apparently. Um, but yeah, overall, not the best fit for me. However, it, it is comfortable, stretchy, and very much true to size. I love dainty little floral prints, especially when they're on a light pink bed. Basically, it is it is my favorite. So this has, you know, little tiny flowers everywhere. The bottoms are nice. They're so high. They feel really good. They're not overly tight. They have a full um, booty coverage on them. They, like I said, go up nice and high in the back and nice and high in the front, which you don't always see. And it's not <laughs> allowing any escape of my belly on the bottom. Super duper comfortable. They're in an XXL, so is the top. Um, and the top has this little tie so that you can adjust, make it a little bit bigger. You can open it up more if you have a bigger chest and you need you know, a little bit more coverage. You have adjustable straps and it's just very comfortable. Um, it does have a tiny little clasp in the back, which I know some of us definitely prefer a nice thick band. I love a thick band, I really do. Um, but I also like this, like it's, it's cute and it doesn't feel like it's gonna pop open on me. Oh, and it's adjustable. I was gonna say, I think it's adjustable. I wanted to be sure though. It is adjustable too, so you can, that's nice. You can loosen it or you can tighten it to your body, however much you need pretty much. But that is actually the end of my video. That's everything that I got from Old Navy. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, like I said, if you guys have like the lowdown on the best jeans for like a, curvier body i guess i feel like that's how advertisers you know that's how they advertise jeans that fit me typically <laughs> um, but if you guys know of the best jeans feel free to let me know girl because I, I, I could use some assistance here but i will have links for absolutely everything down below like i said follow me on tiktok and instagram and stuff um that's where i've been posting a lot lately just because i've been kind of dormant on the vlog channel hope that you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe if you want to see this face ever again in your entire life and i uh, hope you just have a really amazing day i'll see you guys in my next video bye